how I had a pretty good answer for this question and I would like to share it with you guys. 829, consecutive numbers sum. Um, I'm going to assume you're already familiar with the question. I'm not going to explain it. First, I want you to think about what it means to be consecutive. Here's what I think it means. My intuition is this. If any number has any consecutive sum, that consecutive sum has some base that is divisible by that number subtracted after you subtract the extras. For example, if I have 15, we know that uh, 8 plus 7 is a consecutive, oh, let's do like 4 plus 5 plus 6. That's a consecutive sum of 15. The base number in this case would be 3 plus 1, 3 plus 2, 3 plus 3. What my intuition is, this base number, after you subtract these numbers from 15, what you get is 3. What I'm arguing, what my intuition is that 3, uh, uh, whatever we have on the right side, is going to be divisible by 3. So we're going to have uh, 9 divisible. Okay. And uh, this is going to be true for all consecutive sums. All we have to do is check going from uh, 1 up to square root of n if that number is uh, the space, if, if it you know uh, satisfies this equation. If it does, then that means we have an extra con uh, consecutive sum. Now, instead of iterating from 0 to square root n, we can do even uh, an even more simpler way, okay? Here's the code. So we have count. This is going to be our return, and i equals 1. Instead of going from i to square root n, we're going to do it this way. And uh, yeah, that's it. The reason this works is uh, we first check one, okay? If we have an example of 15, when we subtract one, the base becomes, uh, if, if after subtracting one, uh, the remainder is divisible by one, then there must be a base. That means our base uh, would be this 14. Then we'll go to 2. Now uh, n becomes 14 because we already we already subtracted 1, so we don't want to subtract 1 again. All we're going to do is uh, subtract 2 now. And uh, we're going to be left with uh, 12. So we have subtracted two, uh, 2 already. So basically what we have is 15 minus 1 minus 2. If this is divis uh, divisible by 2. Then we have a, uh, that's, a that's a consecutive sum. Then we do minus 3 divisible by 3. And then minus 4 divisible by 4. That's what we're checking for. Each time this is true until uh, this left side is, uh, while this left side is greater than 0. Anytime that is true, then we have an additional consecutive sum. Okay? That's basically uh, what I have shown here. Um, please let me know if that makes sense. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And uh, keep practicing, okay?